Hi everyone, my name is Anthony James Hayes. You probably know me from Best from Brothers to Searching, and I'm so honored today that you meet me here. I want to talk about a little bit about my book. The first one I wrote was Journey of the Christians from Dead Works to Living Faith, my very first book. It's about the story about me pretty much going through things and how I overcome by the Word of God. And here is The New Kingdom with Liberty Man and Evil Stone. That's my second best book so far. And I want to take a little time to tell you about my second book mostly. The first one is about some children. They go to like an adventure. They go to see a new kingdom. The future, I guess you can say, of God and how he's going to restore the kingdom to Garden of Eden conditions. And they fight good and evil and light and darkness. So I encourage you to actually get these books. They're available on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. And then my second story, Liberty Man, a man who fights for freedom. And he takes off the chains of tyranny, of the kings of tyranny, off of him. So he finally gets free, and I hope you find out his journey and how he got free and so on. And then my third book, The Evil Stone, a man who actually turned to the devil, or he sold his soul to the devil for a powerful magic stone. And he had the promise of ruling the world. So I hope you enjoy these books. They're available. And they're family friendly and they're something you can learn with the Word of God. They're parables that you can teach your children and your grandchildren about. So I encourage you today to go to these places and I hope you bless and you enjoy these books. Thank you. You're about to embark on a journey through the written Word of God on subjects that deal with the day. This is Brothers Just Searching. How you doing, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Brothers Just Searching, where we talk about God's Word and current world events to educate and to edify believers of Jesus Christ. I'm Isaac Hayes, as always, with Bo and Roban. Anthony Hayes and Aubrey Box is not here tonight. He had to work late, so we're going to miss our fourth amigo, our other a Ford Musketeer. Yeah, Ford Musketeer, you know. But Bowen's about to shed a tear right there because we're missing Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh they macking. Hey, I don't know why. Okay, I guess um I was thinking about that. Ever since I took off, one of us has missed the yeah. the next I guess Boogie is your turn next week. You can take a week off, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Almost made. I, that's why I had to cancel it. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know why I was off last week. I, I don't know. I can't explain. Well, we know why you're off. I know why I'm off. You've been off. That, that you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, but that's something we cannot help. That, when a doctor looks into your ear, it does like uh, like the three students when they looked at the Curly's uh, head. It was just brain. With when he looks in this ear and he's looking in my head. He sees daylight on the other side and says, the heavens are open. <laughs> <laughs> there is miracles that happen. He's like, oh, wait, there is. No, no, no. All, all, all joking aside, the only reason I missed last week is my phone was giving me problems. Mm -hmm. I had a job interview, and I didn't get to bed until almost almost midday. You had a job interview? Yeah, I had a job interview, but yeah. I never but went, it went back. Pfft. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Adley's feed meal. I went over there. I could have told you. I that. went over there and I told him. I said, "Look, y'all called me for a job interview," and they said, "Yes, we did, Mr. Roban. We were thinking about calling you the, like the Tuesday." Mm. I said, "Uh, well, I said I put in for full time." She said, "Well, some are going to be part time, some are going to be full time. It all depends." Well, and I started thinking to myself. I said, "You're going to call me tomorrow morning at eight o'clock after I've been up all night long. You're going to call me to come over here and work until noon." Ah. I said to myself, I said, well, buddy, you ain't going to see me again. This job is for the birds. <laughs> this Literally. job is for the buzzards. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I when I, I applied over there, not the, there, there were some nice people there. They but, are. Uh, but I, uh, I remember when I went uh, for a job one day, they, they told me, hey, you can work. We're going to pay you cash, da, 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 whatever. And I really needed a job. I was uh, let go from the job I was at, and I, I was just looking for something. Well... Something else came up. I went over there and I told her I, I can't make it, you know, and they were really mad at me. How you telling them? Well, I got a chance for a full-time job. And, uh, no, 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 no. 
It's all good, though. They probably got mad at me, too, because I never gave them my new phone number. They told me to call them and give me the new <laughs> phone number, and I never did. That's me. that's why. Uh-huh. Bowen put his phone in the toilet and said, I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> they, they definitely were never find me. <laughs> and I guarantee you, they heard the flush. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only thing I heard, all they heard was, if it was talking, it was, <laughs> they did, they did, they did. And then you heard Bowen. My name's Bo. James Bo. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> I intercepted this phone in five seconds in the toilet. <laughs> the, uh, little, the little tiny boy man was going down the drain. Eh, the phone went. It. <laughs> or, 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 or. But, uh, no, you missed the. We had a good. Uh, guess I know. Last I week, know y'all man. had a good guess. I know. I know. No, I missed out, but that's my own fault. Uh, but you was here in spirit. I was here in spirit, but dead in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it like that. <laughs> what a revelation. Boy, boy really, boy really took the, 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 the spirit of women, you, but the I, flesh I, is weak. I, I didn't tell you about my dream that I told Boogie. You, you dream? I had a dream, and this ain't no lie, Isaac. I swear, this is all jokes aside. I told it to Boogie. I had a dream, and I dreamed that the rapture had happened, and we had all went to heaven and stuff. And, uh, and, and it seemed so real, dude. I mean, it's like I was really there. You know, I could, I mean, everything was just so real. And, you know, we're standing before God's throne. We're all worshiping and, and praising God and stuff. And after a while, Jesus comes in the middle and he starts dancing with us and everything, dude. It wow. freaked me out, bro. I, I'm standing in the crowd and right in the front and he just steps out. And he just steps out and starts dancing with everybody, man. Wow. It was cool, bro. I said, this can't be real. <laughs> young, uh, how did I say uh, young men would see visions and old man dream dreams? Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. It, it seems so real, dude. I mean, it's like, man, well, this it, was it, so I know, real. I know this ain't our topic tonight, but uh, I had that experience one time. We was in Coda Homes. And uh, I don't know why. I was, just, I, I was in the spirit, of course. And uh, I was praying, and I closed my eyes, and man, I f- I saw the gates of heaven opening. But you could have you could have sworn I was right there. That's what I'm saying. It, it you could have so sworn I was just I know, right there. I know. And I was just like. <sighs> and then when I when I opened my eyes, it was you know it was, was kind of like, a shame when I opened my eyes and seen where I really was and said, oh man, what what a, what a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Huh? I was really depressed when I woke up and saw where I really was. And you're like, I'm in the dark right here. <laughs> but it, it was it was awesome, dude. It was just awesome, bro. Yeah, it lit up your spirit, huh? Yeah, it really did. It picked up my spirit. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, look, while we uh, while before we get on our topic, I do want to remind everyone if you're listening on the audio side, please hit the follow or subscribe button. To the platform you're listening to, either that's Apple, Google, Spotify, Anchor, um, hit the subscribe button or follow button. It depends on the platform you're on. And also leave us a five-star review or and write us a review. Um, that helps us get to in front of a lot of other podcasts. It's not to say we want to get in front of them, but we want the show to grow. And it uh, suggests it. Right to other folks, and uh, I heard a guy say today. Well, my good friend Scott Ford told me that t- uh, t- uh, told his audience today, and I, that made perfect sense. He said, "I'm not asking for money. I'm just asking you to hit a button." Is it, that, 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 that's what I tell everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. too. So um, that's all. We're not, we're, not, we're not asking you for a dollar. You know, just say hit the button. Yeah, hit the hit the, uh, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Also, leave us a review and hit the five star review button. That helps out more than you know. Yeah. Also, what I would like to ask my YouTube audience, the same thing. You know, hey, hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Share with all your friends. And go ahead and, you know, just leave us a comment or just tell us something that, uh, you know, hey, we're doing a good job or something like that. But if you hit the subscribe button and the bell, the bell is very important. If you hit more bell and likes and all that. It suggested us to people, and uh, I know there's a lot of podcasts like this out there, and there's also a lot of shows that talk about biblical stuff. But and it's uh, growing out there. Yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, people are hungry. Mm-hmm. People are hungry for the gospel. People are hungry for something That's other solid. other than just themselves or this world. Look, I, I, I follow politics all the time. I tell everybody that, and this world ain't getting any better. 
No. And no. Uh, and look, I hate to tell all my good conservative friends out there, if you think the Republicans are going to change it in the midterm elections, nope. nope. Make it a little better, but not. it's not going to be... Not be much. No, it's not going to be that. But anyway... Go ahead and check the. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Check out our all our other episodes, our series that we've done, and um, just see what God has in store for us. And just like I said, just hit that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the follow button. Hit um, watches on YouTube. Share with a friend. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna quote Scott Ford. Hey Scott, if you're listening, I'm quoting you, my brother. Um, I'm not asking for no money. I just want to. I just want you to hit a button. <laughs> <laughs> hit a button. So. But uh, ho- I'm going to need my cell phone back because it got my notes on there, Lil yeah. B. So go ahead and... Hey, it's okay. They, they, they know we're, uh, we're not professionals. <laughs> so <laughs> unfortunately, got a phone call and uh, LB had to take care of that for me. So, hey, got to give props to our, our producer. The man working behind the scenes. Yes, he got to. You know, hey, he, he looks at our phone calls. He, you know, he, he goes ahead and sets everything up for you, you us. Know, you know, one day we have to buy him a big box of ice cream. I don't, LB, you like ice cream? What, what type? Why, one day, why not today? <laughs> <laughs> he said, why not today? When I get money. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I just told I just told all we're not asking for no money. We just want to hit them to hit a button. Yeah. Anyway, so, all right, guys. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, let Boogie tell us what we're talking about tonight. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and get some back... Uh, um, just a little bit of content and history behind that when we after he's done. So, Bo, go ahead and tell the audience what we're talking about tonight and how um, how you came about this topic. And mm-hmm. then we're gonna go ahead and dive into it. Well, I'm glad that we're here tonight and stuff. And uh, I'm sorry we couldn't do it the other night. I wasn't feeling too well. I'm feeling better today because that weather messes up. So cold and hot. So you can do that. Anyway, um, I know it's kind of old in a way, but no matter if it's old or old books, or old movies, sometimes they still plant seeds. Uh, we're going to talk about Harry Potter tonight. And a lot of people, there's actually, I was shocked. I was listening to a couple of people. They're, the church is actually divided over this, and it shouldn't be, but they actually got some Christians who actually defend it. I heard one guy wrote a book trying to say that it was a symbol of Christ. Harry Potter symbolized Jesus, and and uh, Baltimore <laughs> symbolized the devil. And you, you bring uh, that you bring yeah. that up. Uh, yeah. it, we all know that the church or people in the church are going to try to justify right. anything. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I heard a minister say the same thing about the Marvel movies, the superhero yeah, uh-huh, movies. Uh-huh. Uh, so, so, yeah. You know, it's good and evil. It's uh, wrong and bad. Uh, there's a lot of good biblical stuff in there. And I'm thinking to myself, there's a lot of uh, unbiblical, stuff. Yeah, unbiblical stuff in there. But I, I don't I don't see how Thor is the image of Christ or whatever he was trying to say. But anyway, move on. But but that's the thing, though. And, and I was kind of shocked. So I started digging into it and I started listening to Trisiana when she was alive. And I watch a lot of videos that when Harry Potter first came out, there was a lot of people against it. But uh, I know it's old, the book. I mean, but it's still it's popular still. And when oh, York, yeah, when it was first published, it hit New York Times bestsellers list and and everything. But the thing I want to get to at Harry Potter tonight, and we talked about movies and books, you know, of course, everybody knows I am a fiction writer and I write books and stuff. So I'm talking about from a, a, um, a point of view of, a, uh, of an author and stuff. And it's amazing how when you dig through all that, how, how Satan can use books. And I believe this is a big end times thing. I believe it's to get people ready for the antichrist i believe that and uh well, we're gonna we, talk we, about we that talk, too. we talked about it a couple of weeks ago and this is kind of like a part two of what we mm-hmm. talked about a few weeks ago with magic um the devil got his forces out there the devil right, got his right. um got his books he got his people mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. there is a church of satan and that is full of witchcraft right uh they and look, the devil, the devil uses people to get his message across. That's right. They evangelize and like, we're oh, trying yeah. To well, then he you, used- see, you see, that's what I don't get. Like, it, it, I mean, I know it's the world. It gets me how like, like, like we're doing that. We're doing this and they're like, oh, separation of church and state or this is a religious program. But it's amazing how you can have Harry Potter. You can have every witchcraft mm-hmm. you can think of. And amazingly, that's nothing to do with religion. And it is. Matter of fact, people don't know that Wicca, witchcraft. Is actually 
it, it got its own ta- uh, tax status. Yeah, it's tax exempt. It, yeah. it is considered like a, a religion. It is considered a church. Yeah. I mean, it got its own chapels in the military, so it is a religion. So I find it's amazing that you like like you can't bring left behind in the public public school system or anything Christian fiction. Oh, that's a separation of church and state. But it's amazing you can bring Harry Potter and it's been in there for years. Or you can bring other cult books and things into the public arena and they're, that's okay. But they're preaching a message. That's yeah. It's a religion. They're preaching the message the same we're doing. Well, this, is from, different. this is from Wikipedia and this is why it's in the, the school systems. You could say book. Yeah. Um, Wikipedia says Harry Potter is a series of seven... Uh, fantasy novels. Right. It right. was written by a British artist named K- uh, J.K. Rawlings. Mm-hmm. The novel uh, chrono- uh, chronicles the lives of a young wizard, Harry Potter, and his friends, mm-hmm. all of whom of students are ho- Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. wizardry. Mm-hmm. So, so that's why they have it in there. They say, "Well, this is uh, this is fantasy. This right. isn't. Mm-hmm. That none of this is real. None of it happens. There's no such thing as wizards, and which to, to the extent there is, there is wizards out there. They, they, I guess, portray not portrayed like Hollywood, but right. Um, but anyway, Harry Potter, and like I said, this is according to Wikipedia, and uh, Les Bowen uh, read them. I I never read a Harry Potter book." I right. never watched a Harry Potter movie. I've seen which, films here and there of it. Well, yeah. and, and that's the thing, you know, um, Harry Potter, the book sold, but even the movie sold faster. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every time. And, 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 and every time a movie. And look, they just came out with a, uh, which shows that Harry Potter is still alive and well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, they came out with a renewal, mm-hmm. you know, the, a reunion of all the cast members and uh, all that. Lloyd might know. Uh, Lloyd, was Emily Blunt? on there uh the one from jungle cruise and uh i think she was the one on there look that up for me and let me know but uh but yeah but she, uh, big time there was a lot of big time actors in those shows oh wow. but uh the plot the plot basically is this harry uh harry potter's a boy who lives in a fictional town with little winglings mm-hmm. series um he lives with his aunt uncle and cousin yeah, because his and, parents were killed by Baltimore, right? A evil wizard. Mm-hmm. Well, and he in at eleven, age of eleven, which I believe is significant in the uh, Santanic world. Yes, it is. Um, he finds out he's a wizard, that, and that he has to live. He uh, thought he lives in an ordinary world of non magical people known as Muggles. Yeah. The wizardry world exists per, uh, parallel to the Muggles world. And it's hidden in a in in a secret, but uh, and he goes to the school of witchcraft, Hogwarts, mm-hmm. Hogwarts, Wizardry. and uh, the school of wizardry, and that's where it kicks off. That's it's basically the show, and well, the, the books and the shows. Yeah, is showing how he's growing into a wizard. Right, it, it's and, since the school years. Right, yeah. um, Boogie, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I am surprised. Right, that the church is divided on this. Right, I'm right. surprised. I'm when you said that, I'm like, really? Yeah, I'm surprised. It don't surprise too. me what the world says. Uh, one day I called the radio station. They were talking about Harry Potter. Uh huh. And dude, you should have. And I made a statement that was that, that wasn't truly accurate on that, and that was my fault. I should have did a little more research before right. I made that phone call. Right. But when I attacked Harry Potter on that radio program, oh lord, you should have heard the calls. After you heard the golden calf, huh? oh man, I had people calling. This is nothing but a fake story. There's no, um, she had there's no witchcraft in there whatsoever. Really? It's Emily, uh, Emma Watson, thank you, LB. Um, but yeah, um, they they just, I mean, they they just ah, and look, there's people that are die hard. I think they even have a conference, a Harry Potter conference. Wow. So um, the only reason I know that is because Psych, the mo- uh, television show, they show like um, the guy, mm-hmm. the character Gus wanted to go to, and they were England, whatever. But yeah. but I'm sorry, Boog. It's just, it just oh no, go, go ahead. Go, no, I'm go, going back to the point. Yeah, the church, um, the church. It. I don't know how they can go ahead and defend. Right. defend Harry Potter to begin with because right. the Bible is all over against witchcraft. But it is. If you look in the book of Deuteronomy, I think it's chapter 8, uh, chapter eight verse 9. Uh, I think I wrote it down here somewhere. Yeah, it talks about divination. It talks about everything, but 90% of what Harry Potter shows 
it's condemned in the Bible. Wizardry, uh, uh, telling, foretelling of the future. I was watching a video this afternoon, and they, in one of the Harry Potter videos, the Philosopher's Stone, Stone, they were showing about a woman, like they went to special class, telling about the future. And so all these things are abomination. Now, this is what people don't realize. Now, I was at work one day, and I had two friends of mine. We, we, were, land, we were doing a little landscape, and Harry Potter came up. And one of them said, well, it's only fantasy. I don't know why everybody gets upset. It's only fantasy. Well, this is the thing people got to realize. Yes, hard works. The school might be fictional. The characters might be fictional. But weaving through the story or weaving through the plots, there's actually things they do that is real witchcraft. There's really people who tell their fortune tellings. They really got fortune telling cards, and that really exists. People really talk to the dead. You know, the spirituality, you know, talking to people that that's supposed to not be alive, but they're dead. Uh, we know that demonic spirits is not them. And all these things that are abomination inside of God is in Harry Potter's books. I mean, uh, uh, ship shape. And I was really blown away. This like the few minutes watching some parts here and there, how it's big in there. Ship shaping. Other words, a human being changing into an animal or something like that like a werewolf or or, or, or or something like that. So, you know, like one lady, she's a teacher in there, and she's a cat. And then when she comes later on, she turns back to a human. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, so it blows my mind. You remember when uh, Ken Hovind was talking about that when he went to uh, Mexico and he said that, uh, who was, was it him or was somebody who went to uh, Mexico? And they said when he shot that lady, she was a witch and she was a big rat or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I heard yeah, well, that. They, 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 uh, according to that account, uh, Brother, Hoven, uh, Brother Hogan yeah. said um, they shot it. They followed the rat into a hut. And when they walked in, it was a woman. She was the the witch of the town or something yeah. like that. And that's, that's black magic. That That's one of the deep cults of magic when you transform and shape shift, they call that. Yeah, uh, sh- uh, shift shaping. Yeah, shaping. yeah. Uh, ship changing or something like something that. But it's like a cultic. It. But that's all over in the Harry Potter books. It's big in there. Uh, in the movies, I was surprised how a lot of them is, is in there. But that's how Satan does. He he takes a character or he takes something and he may he puts a cult in it. And most people, sadly, I heard a guy say this one time about, about music. He says, you know, most people don't pay attention to the lyrics. No, he they said don't. They, they pay attention to the music. They're more into the beat. So sometimes some people... They do pay attention, but at the same time, there's so much people, they caught up in the action of the movie and the actor, the way they're acting. and this, They get caught up in the moment that a lot of times they don't notice the thing, the, the, uh, you know, the, the, the philosophy that's in it in a movie or a book. And that's what we're talking about mostly tonight, about like this movie and this book and others, is that you have to be careful what you watch or what you read. I've been preaching that for a long time. I'm not trying to be legalistic here and say that every movie and every movie or book is bad. But you do got to watch sometimes, like in Harry Potter's case, the philosophy behind it. What are they trying to teaching? And what makes it dangerous, a lot of children are being influenced by the witchcraft. They're joining covens. You know, know, you're talking about Harry Potter. I looked at my house. Yeah. I got a I got a thing full of movies. Uh-huh. I didn't think I had that, but I got two or three DVDs on the Harry Potter movie. Wow, wow. I've never watched them. Wow. But I did grab them and read the back of it. Yeah. And you'd be surprised what they got in those movies. Oh, it's demonic. Just a little demonic. bit. Also. Well, well and, and that's where I'm coming to the point, but you just made a statement, and we did a whole episode on Christian right. liberties. and Right. People will fall that, well, movies under the category of Christian liberties. But I heard a, a good friend of ours say that the other day. He said there's a difference with living for God and living holy. Exactly. Or being legalistic and living holy. Because, yes, there is something you can be over. And I, we, I think we all did that in our Christian walk mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. we thought everything was a sin. Everything was the devil. Um, yeah. my form, Our former pastor and uh, my dad even did that. Devil food cake. Devil food they, cake. Oh. They, 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 they didn't want to eat devil food. Oh, he because dared was, that to be in his house. Yeah, do not <laughs> let it be in the house. Oh, I remember that. So, so you have you have that. That, but legalism, like everything's a sin. I understand. There's some things that are not that are, but there's some things that are not cut and dry. But 
on witchcraft, the Lord says don't go buy it. Don't even touch it. Mm -hmm. um, look, if, if you want to go on sorcery and stuff, <laughs> Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange mm -hmm. is one of the reasons why I'm not following the Marvel movies that much no more. Right. And look, I was thinking about that the other day. They have new ones that came out and I mm -hmm. heard about there's a, there's a new Hawkeye series that came out on Disney+. Plus. There's a new one called Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight. And I looked at... Uh, this one happened. I was watching the game the other night. It was on ESPN and they were showing it moon night you talking about uh occultic wow. this man is fighting dreams and he can't go to sleep at night and yeah. he meets his sorcerer or whatever and he says hey embrace it embrace it. but when he embraces uh, it he becomes this white sheeted person <clears throat> And um, he roams the night. He's called Moon Knight. Uh, wow. Moon Knight. He, he talks, but he, he let that spirit or whatever get uh -huh. into him and it transformed. Him. Well, what that means? Well, that that is witchcraft. And look, I hate to tell people. And look, I do not tell people you don't watch it. But I, I tell them be them advised. Yeah, that's between them and God. But the Marvel series is like the Marvel Cinematic Universe is like that. Well, this is what and, people got to realize. Some people say this is the thing. Well, as long as I don't perform what's in the movies, I heard that already. Like, as long as I'm not, I don't go do with the witchcraft. Are you, are you, here, to, are or, you here to argument? Well, I got the Holy Spirit. That spirit won't jump on me. Right. But it, it but won't the jump on is, you, but it can yeah. oppress you. Yeah. Well, you're opening a door up one way or another. Even you're not doing the act, you're, the demon spirits that are behind it. Well, that's what people don't realize. Why God is so much against witchcraft? Because he knows the spirit that's behind it. He knows that there's demonic forces that's behind there trying to control people and ruin people's lives. That was a car passing. Oh, okay. I was starting to wonder. I was getting scared now. <laughs> so we better stop talking about this. No. They're going to they're gonna be like, what are they looking at? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, but there's demonic forces that is behind that. And that's why Christians got to watch what they read because you can bring that into your house. Even if you're yeah. not doing the spells or even you're not doing what Harry is yeah. doing. Don't mean you're not going to escape the demonic forces that's producing that story, you know, because she wrote the book under very demonic circumstances. I believe that's just me and some people believe that there's two things because she if you watch the movies really well, you can tell she put this stuff very good together. Yeah, she, she did. She, she either did a research like you told me earlier or there's she, something well, else that was got it. Well, that's the th two things I want to get to. She she did do her lot of her research. She did take she did borrow from pagan sources. She borrowed. See, everybody realize when you're an author, you do your research. You do you work. You you take your resources. Whatever you're you you're talking about, you get your resources. You dig and you search. So I understand from that point of view as an author. But the search she's doing is always pagan, and she was not doing it to expose or show evil of the pagan stuff. But she was bringing it in to influence her writings or help her with her spells and stuff. Go ahead, Bo. You're talking about Harry Potter. Yeah. Did y'all ever watch that series about these vampires? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I heard about yeah, it. Yeah, I've watched, I've watched a few. Hold on. Let me tell you something. Yeah. My nieces used to watch that, especially wow. Felicity. Oh, wow. She'd watch that all the time. She'd watch, she would watch. She must have watched every series. Wow. I got some of the series at home. Y'all think Harry Potter's got witchcraft? That, that's probably even worse. Oh, but there's, there's a few oh, shows like with bro. Uh, this has got so much demonic and evil in it, mm -hmm. dude. It's, I think it's worse than Harry Potter, and it's gonna it, get it, worse. It's it, it's unreal the the demonic and the witchcraft and the just the demonic stuff that these people do in this in this yeah. movie, bro. It's right. demonic, man. It's I demonic. Bet you, I bet you if you go study these writers, I bet you they were demonic influence one way or another. Let's go with um, let's go with uh, Stan Lee from Marvel. <coughs> Stan Lee had a lot of mythicism and narcissism. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. uh, the nord mythology, yeah. nord mythology. So so you, they have some influence. And look, I, I have an article right here from Wikipedia, which uh, comes from. She said a few things for uh, influence, uh, knowledge, influence. Was a British folklore and mytho uh, mythology. Uh huh. The 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 liar the liar something like that. I don't know what she also she she said she used some of the Bible content. I I don't know what part of the Bible she used, but um, that's coming out recently. A biblical term. That's what she said. Some biblical terms. Um, and she had some authors. The pin uh, the Pinder's Tale. So yeah, she she got a lot of influence from um, a lot of sources. Every writer yeah, from does. a lot of sources, sure. but. Um, on to the point of how she came up with Harry Potter was was very interesting with the uh, origins. 
and I missed it. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Because I, yeah. she said she was on a train, and mm-hmm. Harry Potter automatically came mm-hmm. to her head, mm-hmm. and and that was um, and she she started riding from there like this little boy. Uh, there were some people that said that the boy came to her and spoke to her to, to yeah. start riding and stuff like that. So there was a lot of things that. She used that was not biblical, or it was love. Well, she demonic said activity. she said it was like someone was talking to her in a conversation. And look, look mm-hmm. on on this point of like Bo and you just saying all the I'm uh, trying to think is the Twilight series. You probably yeah said, you yeah know, I heard about it. Um, yeah. Twilight. You have uh, Harry Potter. You have the Marvel movies. You have a lot of things that are inspired by demonic activity or some type of like Doctor Strange. Yeah. If you. If you see Doctor Strange, especially the first movie, mm-hmm. it is extremely occultic. It, it, it's, it's like a, a, a um, how to say that? It's a, it's a steroids on witchcraft. Oh yeah, speaking. and they, uh, yeah. the new one that's coming out, um, the multi, uh, the multiverse of madness, I think it's called. They say that's going to be the worst Marvel movie. As for as content of going into the uh, the spiritual, the world, dark or, arts and all the that dark stuff. right. So. You have these movies, and a lot these are influenced by somebody. Look, um, mm-hmm. writers and people that preach the gospel, even here, we're inspired by the Holy Spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right. Um, people that are not don't have the Holy Spirit, they're going to be influenced by something. Demonic forces, yeah. Right. So, the, like I said, the devil's at work, and don't think that if people are not Christians, they're not influenced by something. Oh, no, they are. They are very influenced by something. They open a lot of doors. Well, the thing I want to talk about, too... Is that I believe, like I said, she did her, a lot of her research, and she did do that because a lot of people say she's good. Mostly when it comes to the witchcraft part, they actually said that there was a man who called on a radio show she was on one time years ago, and he was a witch or he was a warlock or he was in the witchcraft, and he asked her, "said Are you part of the craft? I mean, or part of witchcraft? That's what that means when they say the craft." And she said, "No, I am not. I think my opinion. I think she's lying, but." But she, I think she is probably a witch. I'm not saying 100% sure, but something just tells me she she probably is. Or if she's not, she did her, like that guy told her, you did your homework very well. And I agree with him. He She did her homework really well. Or she was demon inspired or demon influenced. I, I think so. I th- if, she if she's not a witch. If she isn't part of witchcraft, she 9 out of 10 has a lot of influence with demonic spirits. Yes. It got to be one of those you, two. You, you can't, because look, going back to, and look, we're not, we weren't playing on talking about all kind of other movies, but. No, that's good. It's good. You, going you, know, with it. you have like a that. lot of um, actors, and look, the best one that maybe that pops up to mind is Heat Ledger. The one who played on the, the Joker. The Joker. On, uh, mm-hmm. the, ba- the Dark Knight shows. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Heat Leather was called a method actor. Right. Which he would go into character, and he wouldn't get out of character until he would get, uh, until. The show was finished filming. Wow. And unfortunately, that's how Heat Ledger died. He was in a hotel room getting ready for another part. He sold his soul to the devil. He sold his soul to the devil. But the thing of it is, he was method, act- method acting. Yeah. And I don't know if he was a drug dealer or whatever, but he overdosed, I believe. If I, I could be wrong on that. But Heat Ledger, people said that during the filming of the Dark Knight show, nobody wanted to go around Heat Ledger. He took on the form of the Joker. He wow. was the Joker. And he they took said the spirit. He was evil. Yeah, and he and there's a lot of actors that say that. They say that look when they they're in these characters, they have a spirit that takes mm-hmm. over them. The spirit of the character, right? That is not the spirit of God. That is a demonic force that is leading them to act, and that's why you gotta be very careful of what you watch that's and right. what you read. Because right. and look, I'm not against movies and I'm not against books. No, me not, either. Me but, either. But but. Like you said, Boogie, the church is tall. When you have Christians going and preach a message and say, it's biblical, you should watch Harry Potter because it's a good meaning of forces of good and evil. No, no, I would not recommend well, my dog to watch well, well, Harry Potter. Well, this is how the devil does it, and he's been doing that for years, since the 40s and 50s. I mean, Harry Potter and these movies since the 90s or 2000s has been bad. But Satan's been playing in the seed. Like, for example, now, I'm not saying Walt Disney was the devil or nothing. But I disagree with some things Walt Disney did. He he was one of those people who thought there was a white and there's a black magic. And the white magic's good and the black magic is bad. And that's how the devil did that for years. He made people that good versus evil. But white versus white versus good and black magic is evil. But but that's according to the Bible, 
it's not true. According to the Bible, it's all demonic. It's all influenced by the same demonic people. Matter of fact, I want her and read something that I looked up today. I find it was pretty interesting. Because you got to know what's the spirit behind these things. And people's like, well, they all together. They're different. No, watch. It says, supposedly, it evokes, talking about magic. We're talking about magic here. Supposedly, it evokes supernatural powers to influence events to be used to override the natural laws of nature. That's what magic is. Yeah, well, it, it's supernatural. They, they made it right here. And I didn't get this to no Christian source. This is this. I just looked up the word. What does magic mean? And this is what I got. One part was from another part. And one part was when they talked about Harry Potter. Well, and look, guys, y'all, y'all adding that people, people in the, that, that's one thing about magic. I guess you could say they always people are looking for. How can I say this? They're looking for power. They look right. Yeah. yeah, they're looking for the power that could be in them and the power that can mm-hmm. go ahead and help them to do supernatural things. But let, let's go ahead. I want to go read something to you. Because yeah, go ahead. This is why I think Christians don't. I look me. I don't envy. I don't look at that and say, "Oh, I want magic to do this and to do no, that." No, no, no. I don't need that because Jesus said. Let's see. Where is it at? Um. Uh, where's it? Uh, to the day he let me. Uh, I'm trying to see. So when they when he when they had come together, they asked him, Lord. Well, no. I'm trying to look for where does it say when uh, that um, for the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, right here, verse four. And while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, You heard from him from me, for John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Um, that is the power that we have, the Holy Spirit. That's our power. That's mm-hmm. our spiritual God. And there's a lot of people that want power and mm-hmm. they want to a fulfillment in their the life. fulfillment in their lives so they go after the instead of going after the uh, the father and the holy spirit they go after evil the evil spirit mm-hmm. and the devil well right. yeah Bob, go ahead you gotta figure it this way okay you get power from god you get power from the holy spirit but a lot of people don't want to wait on that no you see they figure it's a lot easier to get your power from Satan than to get it from God. And, and you don't have to have a change of life. And you don't have to mm-hmm. have a change of life. You can mm-hmm. live your life the way you want. Mm-hmm. You can smoke your dope. You can drink your beer. You can do what you want. Mm-hmm. Because Satan's going to give you that power no matter what you do. Right. You can live life the way you want. But with God, there comes change. You see, the Holy mm-hmm. Spirit moves mm-hmm. into a person, moves into that person's heart. So that person has to change for God to give them power, which comes That's through right. the Holy Spirit. Well, look, but the Spirit of God is going to change you automatically look, if you're willing that, to change. Look, That's this right. Is, this is where it comes to the point. Verse 8 of chapter 1 of Acts. But, you, but this is Jesus talking. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has mm-hmm. come upon you. Oh, and you yeah. will be witnesses, my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So Christians, and look, I, that, that's why it bothers me when I hear Christians say, well, we want to look at a Ouija board or we want to <laughs> dabble into this and that. Why? Your yeah. power, you, you, let's say like this. Well, if you have the Holy Spirit, you have more power than anything that the devil can offer you. Right. Why, why go for a counterfeit when you can have the real deal? That's right. And, and other people might say, well, why, why are you comparing it? Because that's people's life. They, like Bowen said. They want power, that they want mm-hmm. that fulfillment, but they don't want to change their lives. They don't want to change lives. Right. And and look, it, I I I know I'm probably gonna get some people upset by saying this, but Katy Perry, mm-hmm. Katy Perry is a prime <laughs> example. Katy Perry was a Bible believing Christian. Yep, she was. Yeah, but she could not raise the fame because she even said that she wanted to be the next Amy Grant. And things didn't work. They out. didn't work out, and she told, she said, look. I, I, I'll sell my soul to the devil if he makes me famous. He Katy did. Perry is big and famous, but everything she does is occultic. Oh yeah, something worked, is yeah. driving her. And all look, the devil's gonna say, "Hey, if you want to serve me? I'm gonna give you what you but, want." Oh, well, that's you, power. You know, do not. The, how did Jesus say it? Do not set your treasures on earth. You know, Isaac saying, "What Isaac is saying is true." 
but you got to look at some. The Bible says the money is the root of all, all evil. evil fame okay, and money. money, money gives people power. Yes, but it's all in how you use that money. You know, like all these singers that we're talking about. You know, he's talking about these people. Look, you got all your country singers. I can name some of them. They right. all came from gospel singing. They all oh, started yes. in gospel. The they older all, ones for the sure. The older ones for sure. Mm -hmm. They started off by singing gospel music in That's churches right. and things hey, like Elvis, that. All but of all of a sudden, Satan grabbed them That's and right. said, "I'm going to give you power. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you that power where you can earn so much money. You ain't going to." what to do it well, and that's exactly yeah. what he did it's just mm -hmm. like when he offered jesus the world to say that. he offered jesus that. everything mm -hmm. if you bow down and worship me all I'll, the I'll show the you all i'll give you all the kings of the earth what jesus said yeah they all mine i don't have to they're all mine i don't have to bow down to you yeah yep. you know they're mine already but you know yeah, but he knows how the devil did it he showed him a vision he showed and, him a vision he didn't like i heard one minister say that and he's right he didn't take him out to the whole world. No. He showed him this one He's, big vision. Right. So it's something, I think that's, that's what, the what devil Satan did with does. her and other That's things, what you know? Satan does with all these people that go mm -hmm. into power and fame mm -hmm. and all this. He shows them a little vision. He shows them this little vision, and then people bite into that. Right. Yep. And they right. don't know that they're selling and, their soul to Satan. And I, I, think, I think that's why Harry Potter is so, so big. Powerful. And all these it's are so movies. Right, because people want, and look, I hate to tell people that, but you see how you're saying that? We were talking about power. They want mm -hmm. power. So there's another part to this you can say. It's the um, the unknown. The unknown. I guess you can say, right. or the spirit. I don't care if you, I don't care if you're an atheist. I don't care if you're agnostic. I don't care. Mm -hmm. There's always curiosity going into the, right. the, the, the spiritual world. That's right. Um, you could look. I, I forgot. Uh, it was uh, uh, Larry the Cable Guy. I watched the movie where he went into with some house hunters. These guys. Well, we want to know what's beyond this earth. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny. You can go ahead and you sell spiritual or fa uh, fantasy books or spiritual allergy books. In mm -hmm. the case of Harry Potter, seeing these wizards ride on a broom mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. do these spells and oh, they're so powerful. It's a none of these people. It, it don't click that. Wait a minute! You talk about all the spirituality. What about the, if there's a God? Mm. You get what I'm saying? And it, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to bring it out right. It's I don't know how I can how I can say it. It's they're looking for something supernatural. Yeah. No, they're looking for fulfillment. They're looking for fulfillment, as we said. But they, there is one that they created all. He didn't create demons or anything. You get what I'm saying? But God, God's the ultimate. The creator he's the, yeah. he's the, spirit, only the way, holy spirit it's, yeah. it's, the only way they can get fulfillment true fulfillment is they surrender to god mm -hmm. and and they go according to god's promises that's the only thing that's going to fulfill anyone and the thing is this is the thing we got to realize behind these magic words or these spells they try to use there's demon forces behind it and this is what gets me like this is a white and versus black no according no. to the bible and according even to some satanists they tell you there's no difference between white and black magic the the, the top satanists say we don't know where people get that idea but they're all the same thing yeah. like in harry potter uh uh, uh, uh harry and uh voltimore they both get their from their wands it comes from a phoenix bird their same power their same source comes from the same bird yeah. so what that tells you right there it's all the same demonic it's all right. demonic and look and look i want to i want to stretch that out tonight because we did talk about harry potter we talked about uh music we talked about the marvel shows and stuff listen i'm not against movies Wait, i mean they're not i'm books not either. against uh, it's only what you watch well, well this is the thing watch, though yeah. but, but people and look I, i've i've been a christian long enough and i've been in leadership long enough to see people that will that will go ahead and justify anything because look and i even has been i've been on that that side because my testimony of the marvel shows is and everybody in here knows I, their movies was my pride and joy i bought if i didn't have money i found <laughs> money i just boogie you're like I a would, drug dealer yeah i would <laughs> buy the movie yeah. and when it came to dr strange i knew it was mythical i knew it was witchcraft but mm -hmm. I, I said i'm not gonna buy that one i'm gonna keep the ones that didn't show didn't right. realize at the time and i was a big enough marvel fan knew they were all mixing in together but i was like well i'm not gonna buy that one i'm not gonna put that one in my house i'm gonna only watch it one time mm -hmm. and that's when the spirit got started dealing with me until one day the lord said listen and i don't know what the lord meant by that and i did not want to find out the lord said 
get rid of him or my grace right. is departed. I don't know what he I don't know why he said that. I don't know what he meant by that. I just said, yes, Lord, then movies went out of my but, house. Well, that's what people got really. They can lose their spiritual rewards. I don't know about their salvation, per se. That's between them and God. Or and see, God like does, I said, I didn't, they, I didn't, they can I didn't, lose their rewards. I didn't, I didn't get to, I didn't, I didn't say, Lord, I, I didn't argue with him. I was like, yes, sir. Yeah. And, I, and look, I, at that point, I didn't watch a Marvel movie for three or four years after that. Right. Now, right. look, I've seen, I've, I've caught up. I watch a few of them. But like I said, there's new ones that came out. There's like three or four movies that came out I haven't watched yet. Well, but I'm not. Yeah. I, at one time when I mm-hmm. was, I would I, I I could say I had a hunger to watch them. Right. But now I'm like, well, no. And I think the Lord did that for a reason. He showed me what was behind it. Mm-hmm. But I put that before Him. And I think that's what the devil is doing with all this. Oh, are you trying to say you influenced by witchcraft? No, I wasn't. As you said, but, I wasn't doing stuff. Right. But something grabbed me. Yeah, but you get what I'm saying, and thank God for thank the Lord that He through the Holy Spirit He went ahead and got me loose. Yeah, exactly. But, and that's and look, I'm not against movies. I'm not me against either. books. I read books. I watch movies. I do all that. I don't watch them as much as I used to. Yeah. But you get what I'm saying. I'm not against that. But you have to you have to have spiritual eyes. Well, this is the thing you got to realize. Like for example, and I I mentioned it before, but we have to, when you get this point of mind view, I think it understand what we're talking about here. Like Hitler, for example. We say, well, Hitler was propagating the Germans. You know, he propaganda, you know. But it's hard to believe. Like, but people are doing today in movies, today. Like, for example, we talked about the X-Men. I like to talk about his superheroes and the yeah. agenda behind. Like, for example, in the X-Men, they were pushing homosexuality agenda yep. a lot. And they were not pushing it like it was bad. They were pushing it like it was something to fight for. It was, well, it was being prejudiced, the, the, you know. The, they were promoting... So you brought out you brought out Disney the other day. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Disney and the New Beauty of the Beast movie had uh-huh. uh, a character that was uh, that was part of this uh, LGBT That's right. There's agenda community. behind it. Yeah. Um, you had uh, you had a cartoon on Disney the Disney Channel uh, the Disney mm-hmm. Kids or something like that had two little boys making out with each other. That mm-hmm. you see. Um, you have tons look tons of movies now. Every new series has a LGBT mm-hmm. uh, couple pro- in it, or they have somebody that's part of the LGBTQ. They're doing community. just like Hitler did. Mm-hmm. So they are propaganda. They are. They, and look, that's not that's not in the Bible. We haven't talked about uh, homosexuality or same sex marriages and stuff. But as you said, and they're 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 training people to yes. say it's it's normal. Like witchcraft. Same, th- same thing with witchcraft. There is a supernatural power. And look, that's how the devil's working. Mm-hmm. Listen, y'all, there is something supernatural out there. Mm-hmm. It just ain't God. Right. It's everything else except God. Because atheists do that. It had uh, Richard Dawkins. Yeah. That uh, that movie, uh, Expel, with Ben mm-hmm. Stein. I remember that one. And he, that was a good one. Ben, uh, Richard Dawkins, one of the biggest atheists out there, said, well, there is no God. There's no God out there. There's no one. And when Ben Stein asked him on Expel, well, how did this earth come about? Was it the Big Bang? Big Bang? Yeah, Big Bang's one of the theory, but we believe there was maybe some other life forms out there that came together and pre- yeah, aliens or so something you're like tell, that. So you're yeah. telling me there was an intelligent designer? Uh-huh. It just wasn't God, <laughs> and that's what the devil's doing. Hey, there's spirituality here, yeah, but it's not God. Don't, yeah. don't worry about God. Just worry about this stuff. Go ahead. You're talking about aliens and stuff. I want to share something with you. Y'all going to laugh at this. Bo, and don't tell me you were visited last <laughs> no, night. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they stole your pizza and your boxes. If, if, if I was visited last night, I wouldn't tell y'all about it because it'd be, it'd be a secret. Oh, but anyhow, okay. Okay. they had they gave this them old, future they, knowledge. They, <laughs> <laughs> they, they wanted they had, pizza. Right. right. But they had this old guy that came to the store, and we were talking, and, he, and mm-hmm. we, we got on the rapture somehow. Yeah. And we talked about Jesus coming back and stuff. And mm-hmm. uh, he actually said, he said, how do you think Jesus is coming back? He said, "What? You, how do you think he's coming back to the earth? I said, he's coming back on a white horse with all his saints. I said, we're all going to be white and right, white stallions. Oh, no. He said, you're crazy. He said, that's not true. He said, that's not what I've studied. I said, man, how is Jesus coming back? I said, he's coming back to fight the war of Armageddon. Yeah, Revelation he said, he said, he said, Lord. that's not true. He said, I'm telling you, that's a lie. I said, man, how is he coming back? Oh, Jesus is coming back on a spaceship. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 
That's symbology. And you know what he told me? I told him, I said, dude, that's not true. He says, better than what you believe. He said, at least this got, got truth to it. I said, oh. Uh, but, but, oh. Alien, but proves okay. my point. Proves uh -huh. my point. Oh. Okay. See, the devil, the devil's going to say, hey, but he's been drinking. anything except what the Bible says. Yeah. He said, Jesus is coming back on a spaceship. Wow. So he I got been, mad at me when I disagreed with him. So, so we've been messing it all that time? <laughs> I've been taught wrong. <laughs> uh, they deceived me. He was an alien spaceship. To prove my that, point, that, though. That, that's why I prove said that. Point, though, that's why I said that. The devil's going to say, hey, mm -hmm. this right here, mm -hmm. but not this. Please, not that. Uh, uh, I asked myself, and, and what is he listening to, man? And, and, and you know, might, you know what the devil's smoking, doing? He might, be, he might yeah. be smoking a blunt like that. that <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of things through that. Yeah. But that's why I think where the devil's deceiving everybody at. It's kind of like almost like the Star Wars type stuff because in yeah. Harry Potter it's almost like the Star Wars a little bit there's a force out there anybody can tap to but it's not God though there's yeah, no that, God that's what I'm saying it's just you and this that, force but, you know look, look, magic use his name, going back to Richard Dawkins when he made mm -hmm. that statement on Expelled yeah um, he, he said well it could be some other life form out. see uh -huh, that's the thing it could uh -huh. be anything except, except God, the God. And, the and I think that's what the devil's doing with witchcraft hey look there is something supernatural out there but it isn't God. And he's, he the had devil. Look, J, uh, <sighs> Miss, Miss Rawlings, uh, the writer of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, you have the, the the Twilight series. The devil has his people. I'm not saying the, these people are outright Satanists, it, but they, they open some. themselves <laughs> to be inspired by demonic forces. Yeah, and the devil's going to say, hey, I'm going to use them it's to so, bring people to hell. It's so easy, y'all. We're talking about all these things. We talk about all kinds of things. The more we talk about, we see just how tricky the devil is. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's using we stories. See, mm -hmm. We see his his tricks. We see his his his, his all his tactics, and and he used that since the Garden of Eden. And yeah. I, mean, mm -hmm. I was just thinking about that word ago. He in the Garden. He's using the same thing. You can be have the power of the gods. Exactly, mm -hmm. and that's what he did with Adam and mm -hmm. Eve. He mm -hmm. made them believe that they would be little God or they'd mm -hmm. be like God. And that's what. And you do. look what Satan is doing today, man. Just look, look at what we're talking about right now. Look what Satan is doing. Think, think about he it. has man brainwashed and believing that they can they can have something that's you know think beyond about, themselves think about this okay you said the devil is very tricky he is this this, this fallen angel because yes. that's what satan is, that's is, what a he fallen is. Angel. but he's very crafty bro he, he deceived one third, third of god's, god's angels, angels. Wow. wow imagine this these angels seen god god created hey, them damn. Mm. And he still fooled them to That's say, right. "Hey, I'm going to take right. over the world." That's right. And look, oh, well, I, I, well, I'm not going to get this, Steve. Really? Really? You try to say you're really? more, you're more, more, more capable yeah. of not being deceived than right. an angel. That's right. That yeah. seen God. That's right. They got the angels that stand before the Lord today, and those that are going to be listening, or those that are listening. They got angels that stand and worship God 24 mm -hmm. hours a day, and they tremble before God. They right. trembling before God because that's how much you fear the Lord. You know, this is the thing, like, I noticed something. You know, we're talking about the, the tribulation period and how some people believe Jesus is coming to alien spaceship, or whatever. You know, in, in the book in Harry Potter, he actually has a lightning bolt that, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that on, on his, his forehead. forehead. Yeah. And I noticed something that a lot of kids to show their allegiance to Harry. I was watching a documentary on this. They put a lightning bolt. They put yeah. a lightning bolt right that. in the middle of the head. Now, this is what's troubling me. Is this preparing the way? Now, I'm asking you all this question is, and I think so myself. I wonder, is it, and some, some people do wonder about this. Is this preparing the way so when the Antichrist comes on the scene, mm -hmm. Will they be trained? The generation that's this well, generation that's about remember, what? Remember, oh, remember, oh, the Bible, remember the Bible says that the beast is gonna come mm -hmm, doing signs, signs and, and wonders. wonders. So and look, it's the same thing with the rapture, uh -huh. bringing back mm -hmm. Marvel, which we're about yeah, to yeah, wrap that, it up. Yeah, that's good. Uh, with yeah. Thanos, how many? Of I don't know if y'all watched that. No, LB probably did. Uh, when Thanos snapped his fingers, half the population yeah. left mm -hmm. Earth, and all, all half the galaxies and everything, everything disintegrated. It right. half of the uh, population of the world just went up. Uh, I said that. Watch when the rapture is going to happen. You're going to have all these people that are going to disappear. Mm -hmm. And the first thing they're going to come into their mind is Thanos came mm -hmm. and or there's a being out there that snapped his finger and took half the population. Because uh, you remember uh, a lot of the rapture movies that they remember, it was like, oh, maybe aliens took them. I remember that in the movies. Well, yeah. Thanos ain't a human being, so he has to be considered alien. And look, I think it's training people. I do think it is, it is because 
uh, Harry Potter did signs and wonders. He did things with his wand, him mm-hmm. and his friends, whatever. Mm-hmm. And they did, they did that. And they, oh, look how, look at. And they make what, it look cool, yeah, you know, what, like yeah. The, you think the Antichrist is gonna come and be like, "I command you to go." No, he's gonna do it in an entertaining way. He's a yeah. He's a make. And guess what? He's gonna make people make people in this fallen state go. Yes, he's the Messiah. Or he's we the finally God. got power. We got power. The, the next yeah. force has come about. And whoa, whoa, well, my well, dad, does, church, my dad, politicians not doing nothing, but he's really well, doing well, something. Yeah. Say, if he does signs mm-hmm. and wonder, the first thing they're gonna think about is Harry Potter and the lightning bolt. Oh yeah, there's gonna be some. So, so when you think about it, when that book, when the movies were made in 2000, well, the books were written in 1997, but, but I think, I, the, I think movie, the movies came out shortly so, after that. So they are probably the teenagers or the young kids then they're probably adults by now. I'm oh sure. yeah, they're, well, they're, they're it, in their it, 20s it shapes, or 30s. It shapes everything. A lot so of, yeah, so, it, sh- it shapes everything with um with them. It it will go ahead and give them a mindset. Um. Oh, I'm trying to think who said that. He said, uh, well, Hitler said it. Uh, if you tell, you, get, you say you, a lie long no, 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 enough. No, 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 no. He enough. said, you give yeah. me the textbooks, I got the next generation. Yeah, I take over the state. Um, mm-hmm. But it goes, to, it goes to the same point with the hippie age, with all the peace, love, and joy. Mm-hmm. Half of them people are politicians now. And look what's going on. And look what's going on. And look, you'd be surprised. That's why I tell, look, I even tell the youth that at our church. Mm-hmm. I, it was 2001 when the movies were made, by the way. Yeah, okay, um, Harry Potter That's why I, okay. I tell the youth, I, I I remember the other day I talked to him. I brought out the word. Um, John. I brought out John chapter 1, verse 1, where it says, In the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word was God. And I brought out to them how the word is, the word wrote the word. That's and when right. they looked at me weird, and I was like, well, Jesus wrote the word. And that's why we read the Bible. It's not because it's just another book. But this influences you. This tells you what God wants. Look, and is there perfect? Is it perfect? Everything lines up and everything. What well, chronology and story wise? No, there is. There's some things you can debate on why Matthew <coughs> wrote this and Luke didn't write that or whatever. But this, forty-two authors, I believe, over sixty-six books, A over 13, 1,300 years apart. And it's it lines up. The core message Perfectly. lines up perfectly. God, this is God's word. Jesus wrote this book. He gave it to us, and that's why you should spend time in it. And I'm not against reading books. I look, I have three books I'm trying to read right but now. That should be your first priority. It should be your first priority, and this should influence you. And if you'd rather pick it's up a Harry Potter book or a Twilight book or a Lord of the Rings book and put this on the side, you put that before God and the devil got you. This, I always say it this way, this is a roadmap to heaven. Yep, mm-hmm. it is. Mm-hmm. This will tell you how to get to heaven. This will tell you how to live your life to go to heaven. And if you read it and you obey it and you right. try to live the best you can, mm-hmm. let God's spirit guide you and show you, I can guarantee you you'll be stepping into heaven because of right. this book. And, and I encourage people that, and you say, well, I got no good fictional books to read for me and my children. Oh, there's, my there's, kids. Tons no, of tons. There, there's par- I encourage people. There's Pilgrim's Progress. There's my book. There's other. There's uh, there's good Christian well, authors uh, out let there. Me, uh, Left Behind is uh, pretty good. Our guest from know. last week, Miss Mac. Uh, yeah, yeah. I La, mean, um, La, La, La Mique, uh, Lamanique Mac. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if Miss Lamanique is listening. Yeah, but you <laughs> but just gotta look. Mac, she's got the, books. You yeah, can you can go ahead. There's and good pick movies up. and good books where it's well made and they got good plots and stories to them and they talk about morals and Jesus Christ and it's something yeah. you know you can enjoy. So they are good. That's not the only good best material they got out there. No, there you know there's there's, there's tons of there's tons of books. Look, um, yeah, my wife reads tons of stories. Uh, Beverly Lewis. Mm-hmm. Beverly Lewis is a Christian author. She right. writes books about Amish and stuff like that, and it's clean. It's good for the family. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you don't have to. And that, that's, I think that's an excuse of a lot of the churches saying, "Well, the nothing. reason we read Harry Potter because there's nothing else to read." I heard one guy say that too. No, yeah. you, you can't. You can't go by that. No, you can't there's go some by good that. ones. So, but, uh, but it, look, remind everyone. Look, we're not against movies. I want to make that clear because that's the first thing that's going to be out of people's mouth. Well, you're against movies. No, no, you're against no. books and you're, you're legalistic. I guess fiction. No, no. I'm, I'm no. pro-Bible. Well, Jesus I'm not told against stories. Movies. Yeah, I'm not yeah. against stories. I'm not against movies. I'm not against... We're not... None of us are... We have tons and tons of movies. Oh, yeah. But please make sure what you allow in your house is biblically correct and that it won't influence your kids in the wrong way. Because right. that is the next generation, and especially being a youth pastor, I see it. It, it influences their worldview. Yes. You need, and look, 
it, it's sad. Uh, us ministers, we only got to maybe like an hour, two hours top during the week. That's right. Everything else got to be at home. So that's why you got to look. Hey, study the Bible. Mm-hmm. Study the Bible and be ready. Good. But anyway, I hope that covered the topic for tonight. It, it was uh, pretty good. And just uh, stay focused on what God has in store. On Boogie's note, though, uh, I want to just share a testimony. Before Brothers Just Searching became Brothers Just Searching, man, we were thinking about doing a video about superheroes and yeah, stuff like we that. Need, was, we, we need to do man, it one day. been two years in the making. We still never done it. <laughs> we will. We're going to get to it. So many topics. So many yeah, topics. Yeah, so. there's tons. You wouldn't think, but yeah. And, well, Bowen, you got a long night ahead of you, yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Got a long night. But hey, good opportunity to preach the gospel. And drink some coffee. <laughs> and drink some coffee. <laughs> yeah, the coffee's going through me right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, everyone. I want to thank you all for listening to Brothers Just Searching. It is an honor and a blessing to spend this time with you every week. Remember, our show always drops on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock. That is audio and video podcast. Uh, the video podcast is on YouTube. Again, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and share and like with a friend to get the word out. On the audio side, Apple, Google, Spotify, wherever you're listening, subscribe and follow, and also leave us a review. It helps out more than you know. Give us a five-star review. If they had six, I would say give a six-star review for Bowen. <laughs> so, but, uh, <laughs> if you love Bowen. That. Also, uh, we've been promoting... And uh, we had a little hiccup with it, but um, I'm going to explain to you, if you have been looking for the website, BJS, uh, bjsmediastore.com, that has our shirts, that has our cups, that has a lot of merchandise, just not from this podcast, from but also from the Cajun Conservative podcast. Um, you can go ahead and find that at bjsmediastore.com. Please, and I, everybody says Google, do not Google the pot this uh this uh this website you have to go in the space on the top where you have to put www dot whatever and type in bgsmediastore.com it'll take it to you right away if you put it in google for some odd reason it's not showing up on google so this a little insight right there if you want some merchandise bgsmediastore.com all together and put it in the search bar, not the Google search bar, but on top where you have to put that address in there. A lot of people just go to Google and like, oh, we <laughs> found it. Now, if you want to find Brothers Just Searching, right, go ahead and right. put, bro- uh, <coughs> put Brothers Just Searching podcast and our website and everything's going to show up. So we're going to have to find a way to where we can go to our website and put a link in there. We're going to have to do yeah, that make it easier. Soon. Yeah. Maybe do like your books. Uh, yeah. When we put you. We can do oh, that. forgot about that. Go. Yeah. Um, if you looking for a Brother Anthony's books. Yes. Go to www.brothersjustsearching.com the podcast.wordpress.com yes you scroll down under our pictures mm-hmm. which we need to update our pictures with brother Aubrey. i've been saying that but uh but if you go down the links are on the home page you can see the book see where you can buy the book please go help brother anthony out he got a royalty check the other day i just need another one he just needs another one so <laughs> maybe one day you see me and brother bowen's book well, well i just had some encouragement uh, i gave a i gave a copy to one of my buddies at work and he told me, he says, man, I love it. I'm going to tell my wife and children to read it. So, hey, say, it's all good. So. Anyway, we need to get out of here. The mm-hmm. bill, the, the lights are about to turn off because the bill, we need to go pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's you blinking. Know, no, I'm joking. But we got to get to work and go share the gospel and win. Two, and two, and two, make some money. Souls or and whatever. make his millions. Makes his millions. So anyway, everybody remember, Jesus Christ is coming back and he's coming back soon. He is not coming back on a spaceship. He is coming back on a white horse. <laughs> if you want to be part of that and you want to make Jesus your eternal savior, reach out to us and one of us will tell you how to make Jesus your eternal savior and make heaven your eternal home. So until next week, be blessed, be encouraged. And from Brothers Just Searching, you have a good week. <laughs> <laughs>